Hey guys, what's up? It's Uncle Zunky. So, I have been doing quite a bit of PvE I mean, lately, um, and I have some stuff to talk about, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to go to QBD while I kill her for a bit, and uh, I bought Dragors again. Um, I actually bought Dragor Rapiers because I had um, quite a bit of money, as many of you know that have been watching my second uh, Road to Max Cape series. Um, I decided to just use all the money that I had, keep it on this account, and so my other account which I plan on maxing possibly someday who knows if that will ever happen but working towards that um, I plan to just actually make money legit on this account and not use money that I made on my main so with that being said I had quite a bit of spare cash and so I decided to buy Drago Rapiers because I have been nexting a little bit just starting to get into it probably will do more um, and to really efficiently next you do need Dragors so that's why I got Dragors and um, anyway yeah I'm gonna go kill QBD with them because she is pretty good money still, uh, although she does hit much harder than she used to. But anyway, we're going to go uh, poon some face right now, and uh, that's what I'm going to do for this video. And I guess just talk a little bit about um, PVM in general. Um, I also have several other bosses that I've been working on. Um, I have been going to DKs quite a bit. I got a hatchet and a Sears ring in a trip that I made yesterday, so that was pretty successful. Um, I also have to just continually work towards um, being able to finish my second Armadillo Battle Staff. I'm about at 55 Armadillo Shards right now. Um, you guys should see my PVM tab. Um, if I remember, I'll put a small clip of my PVM tab at the end of the video. But the PVM tab in general is um, turning out to be really nice. And I'm planning on really trying to build up that PVM tab to be a couple hundred mil or something like that. I just think that would be a really cool thing to be able to sell like a humongous drops tab. Um, so I'm not going to sell it for quite a while. I don't really need the money for anything anyway uh, at this moment in time. And uh, whenever I decide to PVM, whenever I'm in the mood of P for PVMing, I'll just uh, do that and start building up the tab. And that should be a lot of fun. Um, QBD isn't really my favorite boss. I do kind of like her. Um, she's alright. Kind of boring. It gets very boring and monotonous, mostly just because like every single kill is the exact same. There's not really any danger of dying. There's not really many tactics. Especially with the drag horse, you just kind of stand here and destroy her. It's very, very easy. Um, so, yeah, that's why QBD, it's not really that interesting to kill, but of course the uh, the money per hour is quite good. So that's really why QBD, I feel, is a, a boss I'll continually do. Um, probably just when I'm not in the mood to do um, Glacors and I can't find anyone to go to Nex or DKs with, because I plan on doing those two bosses quite a bit. So anyway, that's pretty much um, mostly about me and my... PVM plans. Um, I've never been like the biggest PVMer. I've probably, not want to brag, but I've probably killed more DKs than the vast majority of players in this game. I have killed so many Dagonoth Kings. Uh, the majority of those Dagonoth Kings being before EOC, but I have gotten um, quite a few hatchets since after EOC. I think I've had six or seven hatchets since EOC came out. Um, so I've been there a fair amount. So I kind of know what I'm doing there, um, and that's probably my favorite boss of all time, just because it's it's very easy and it's really fun to do as well. And I gotta kill this fool to make sure he doesn't uh, time stop me. Um, I tried coming here with Chaotix earlier, and it just wasn't really as fun um, because you just get torn to pieces. That's the one thing I don't like about QBD. They they buffed her damage output. Like she's still very easy to kill, and it doesn't take very long to kill her. They just buffed her damage output so much that you just have to eat a lot and you have to bank more often. That's just kind of annoying. Um, but other than that, the QBD is uh, fairly easy to kill just in general. And also when she just like spams her fire breath attack like she's about to right now, that really takes away a lot of health very fast. But uh, anywhere there's there's the first QBD down the first QBD of this trip, so I just, I use so many sharks, like when I first ever bought Drygors, Drygor Maces, that was my first uh, set of Drygors, this is the first time I've had Rapiers um, I have had a main hand Rapier and an off hand Mace before but I've never had both Rapiers um, but anyway yeah, I used to use like one shark per kill, if that possibly four or five if things got really hairy um, Snapdragon Seeds, that's like the worst drop she drops but, um, yeah, and now you just you use, like, 10 sharks per kill quite often. It's just really annoying. But, anyway, uh, that's about all for me. I guess I'll show you guys my PVM tabs. Yeah, that's coming. I believe my PVM tab is around 60 mil or so now. Um, D hatchets have gone down a lot, and I believe I have four of them, so that's hurt. But, besides that, my PVM tab is looking pretty nice, and I'm just going to continuously build it up. I have not gotten any neck splits yet, but as soon as I do, I'll be putting some cash in the PVM tab as well, just to signify that. 
So anyway, uh, stay tuned for when I show that, and I'm just going to finish this QBD trip. So now is the time of the video where I show my PVM tab. It's not that wonderful, it's not that exciting, but we're just going to go into it and uh, begin looking, I suppose. Um, I've gotten a lot of a wide variety of drops because I've done a lot of different bosses. Um, probably the majority of the stuff in here is from DKs and Glacors, and I've done a bit of Corp. Um, I've done some Tormented Demons. I've done a bit of Nex. Um, I've done just a bit of King Black Dragon as well, and a little bit of QBD. I've just I've done a little bit of everything. So there's a very very wide variety of drops in here. Um, so far, the best stuff is probably like the Armadillo chain skirt. I got that from Armadillo. I have done one God Wars trip, and that was an Armadillo trip, and I got an Armadillo chain skirt. So I'm going to withdraw all the stuff here that's worth like the most amount of money and price check it. I obviously can't withdraw everything because there's just a lot of stuff in here. Um, I also have these uh, Tazar drops that I got from the fight kiln, if you saw my fight kiln video that I uploaded yesterday. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to withdraw like some of the more wide variety of stuff. If you want to really look at my PVM and tab in depth, I guess you could just pause the video or something like that, but just a lot of different drops in here. Okay, so this is, should be the majority of everything, and I don't know the exact value of my PVM tab myself, so this might come as a bit of a surprise to me, but just everything that's on here, add another few mil, maybe four or five mil from everything else that's in the PVM tab, because I can't fit everything in one inventory. So we got to start with the good stuff, the Armadillo Chain Skirt and the Rage Fire Boots, which are crashing hard. When I got those Rage Fire Boots, they were like almost 9 mil, and now they're 7.3. Um, also, the Dragon Hatchets have crashed, and the Armadillo Chain Skirt have crashed since I got them. So that's just a little bit disappointing, because obviously I don't want to sell my drops immediately. I want to store them in a PVM tab. Um, Dragon Hatchets reached 4.1 mil at one point, and now they're just they're going down very fast, but they still are worth a decent amount, and I don't mind losing a few mil just if things go down in price. Um, and I do have some Frost Dragon Bones from when I made my Frost Dragon video. I got some bones from that, and because it is PVM, technically you're killing monsters, so it is player versus monster. I just included those in the PVM tab. Um, so this looks like it's going to be about 60 mil, um, nearly 61 mil. So the PVM tab is probably close to about 65 mil. I would like to get it between 250 and 500 mil before I sell it. So we're going to see how well that goes. Um, I will be doing some next, and I'll any money that I get from next splits I will put in the PVM tab. I also got 300k from a holy elixir split that I did not put in here from, but from Corp I did get one holy elixir, but it was coin shared. So I believe that was about 300k or something like that. But anyway, that's about all for this video. Um, this isn't really the start of a new series or anything. I just wanted to show you guys my PVM tab. And if you'd like me to do a road to something or other, I definitely could do that. Um, the problem is I just don't PVM super consistently. So that's the reason why I'm not really starting a series here or anything like that. But hopefully these, the Dagonoth rings, the hatchets, the Rage Fire boots will stop going down in price. And uh, they can go back up. But anyway, that's about all for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and farewell.